hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so before getting into that i want to tell you that i am planning to prepare exam preparation mcqs for introduction to industry 4.0 and industrial iot course so guys you may get more than 200 plus practice mcqs just for 89 rupees so actually many people who are watching this video are students and it may be a semester subject so so taking into that consideration i am giving as a student offer for just 89 rupees only guys so if you want to get better preparation ahead of the final exam you can join in this iot course I mean preparation videos you can see that already i have prepared some other subjects also but it is only for members so i have already made videos regarding database management systems soft skill development cloud computing and iot also so if you want similar uh, preparation videos like that if you want to access for that so just go to our channel page i have already given the link in the description so just click on that it, it, it will automatically take you to this channel page so before behind this beside this subscribe button there is join button right so click on this join button and you will get three types of packages so you can either select 89 rupees pack or 119 if you want live videos also if i upload any you can get live videos for 119 rupees or if you want only recorded videos you can just select 89 pack and click on join after that make payment that's it you will become member of our channel the benefit of 119 pack pack is the live videos and also the above two packages will be uh, contained within this 119 package that means for this 119 rupees you can get benefits of both 89 rupees and also 59 rupees so i think it is better to take 119 or if you want only recorded videos you can just click on 89 per month pack and click on join and make payment so guys so i hope you use this opportunity many people have joined here many students have joined so this these are the top eight people and actually many people have joined that so do join with that students and get benefit so not only 200 guys if possible more than 300 also provided based on the situation and based on the content that given in these lectures so completely nptl oriented no within uh, no getting outside completely nptl based syllabus guys so if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section so let's see the solutions now So this is introduction to industry 4.0 and industrial IOT course. So week 8 assignment of this. So let's see the solutions now. Guys please watch video till the end without skipping. And if this is your semester subject please ask your friends and classmates to join in this. And recommend to all of your classmates so that everyone will get better practice and get good marks in your final exam. So guys tell all of your friends and classmates and make everyone join so that would help me to do better videos so let's see the first question now which of the following is not a part of iiot analytics they are not asking the part they are telling that not a part which is not a part of iiot analytics so for first question the answer is option d renewable renewable energy renewable energy next question so let's see the second question now prescriptive analysis is one of the categories of iiot analytics true or false so for second question the answer is option a true so mark second option I mean first option as correct answer for second question so let's move on to the third question so third one volume veracity velocity are the characteristics of which of the following entity so these three are characteristics of which entity so for third question the answer is 
option C big data analytics they did not give an analytics but big data big data is the answer so guys from many weeks I am giving 100% correct answers so with that I am preparing this preparation videos so I hope you join in this and get better preparation ahead of the final exam guys these are in the form of MCQs that means not just content I am giving in the form of MCQs so it is similar to the pattern of final exam so in that way also it will be very helpful for you uh, similar it means uh, indirectly it is like a blueprint of the final exam so similar one so hope you use this opportunity and get better prepared and inform this to your classmates and make them join in this guys so that I can get enough encouragement and uh, as I am doing these videos in parts so I will do better than the first part in from next video so do that do join in this subscription or membership so let's see the next question fourth one feature engineering is absent in which of the following tools or algorithms so guys in which feature engineering is absent in the following four options so for fourth question the answer is option b in deep learning in deep learning feature engineering is absent so let's move on to the fifth question now fifth one what is the purpose of diagnostic analytics so the purpose of diagnostic analytics so for fifth question the answer is option b identify the root cause of an anomaly so mark option b so let's move on to the sixth question how many different categories of clustering are there so what are the types of clustering guys there are two types of clustering one is hard clustering and the other one is soft clustering so mark option a so let's move on to the seventh question now seventh question so fuzzy c means clustering fcm fcm clustering can be used when so what are the conditions uh, during which we can use this fuzzy we will select fuzzy c means clustering ahead of the k means so the reasons are there are two reasons actually the first one is option a data points may belong to more than one cluster so in that case we can use that and the other one is when we need faster clustering compared to the k means so the answer finally is option c both a and b so mark option c as correct answer for seventh question let's move on to the eighth question which of the following statements is or are true about linear regression so linear regression so for eighth question the correct answer is option c it is used for prediction of values that means for a given x value we can find y values right so in that case option c is the correct answer so let's move on to the ninth one guys if there are any changes i will mention in the comment section and if you feel there should be any changes you can give your answer in the comment section itself so before the final final submission once again check the comment section if there are any updates available so for ninth question select the machine learning base i would iiot application or applications used in the retail sector so for ninth question the correct answer is option b product recommendation product recommendation so let's move on to the 10th question so 10th one select the correct statement so for 10th question the correct answer is option c machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that means if 
this is artificial intelligence then machine learning is the one of the subset of artificial intelligence so mark option c as the correct answer for 10th question so let's move on to the 11th one now so 11th question what does deep in the deep learning refers to the term they are asking that what is the meaning of the term deep in the deep learning word so for 11th question the correct answer is option b number of hidden nodes number of hidden nodes so let's see the 12th question now 12th question what is or are the critical requirement or requirements of deep learning applications so for 12th question so option a large amount of data that means large quantity of data and high quality data both are correct that means option c both a and b is the correct option that is option c next move on to the 13th question now 13th question which of the following is or are example or examples of software as a service so for 13th question the correct answer is option c drop box drop box so let's move on to the 14th question now Fourteenth question: What is or are the characteristic or characteristics of good SLA? Good SLA. So, the uh, good SLA is achievable, meaningful, and affordable. That means option D, all of the above, is the correct answer. So, mark option D. so let's move on to the final question that is 15th question so guys as i said if you want to join in the mem membership of exam nptel exam preparation video mcqs you can join by going to our channel i will give this link in the description so click on join button select 89 or 119 pack any one of any one is uh, enough so click on 89 per month pack and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel so you can get more than 200 plus practice mcqs guys uh, if time permits more than 300 is also possible so definitely you i hope you will get benefit and you will get good marks and you will get better prepared for your final exam for just 89 rupees student offer you can get that so if you have any doubts regarding this you can please ask me in the comment section but you can completely believe this because i am giving for many weeks i am giving 100% correct answers for the assignment with that believe i am uh, going to prepare the exam preparation videos so hope you join you and use this opportunity to the great extent for this less price cheap price and you can recommend this to your friends and make them also join in this so let's see the final solution final question solution 15th one which of the following is or are the limitation or limitations of cloud based approaches in iiot so they are asking limitations of cloud based approaches in the given options so for 15th question and the final question of the assignment the solution is option d higher latency higher latency is the limitations in the given options and these remaining three are not the limitations so guys these are the solutions for week 8 assignment answers so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends and guys if you want to join in the exam preparation videos if you want the access that i upload for the the videos you can join in our channel guys not only that single course you can get all the course videos for just 89 rupees only not only single iiot course I mean iot 4.0 you can get all these course videos just for single 89 rupees only so join in this and get better prepared if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section so that's it guys so until the next video goodbye thank you